Guys, I haven't showered in two days. I feel really gross about it. Didn't shower yesterday, legitimately wore these pajama pants and a t-shirt, actually the same t-shirt that I'm wearing. I wore exactly what I woke up in the entire day and I feel horrible. So let's go take a shower. <laughs> Not with me, sicko. I'm gonna go take a shower by myself. I just took a shower. I feel great. I'm doing my makeup now. I wanted to update you guys on my life. I've just felt so weird the past couple days. It was Thanksgiving like yesterday and usually like holidays are really fun for me, but they've been really weird recently, like as an adult and like where I am in life and everything. Like, I don't know. It's just different. I felt kind of sad most of the day, so I didn't even film a full vlog. Like we actually had a really good Thanksgiving because we served at a dinner for homeless people and like we gave them Thanksgiving dinner and then we went to a restaurant after and like it was a very like non-traditional Thanksgiving but it was good and it was fun at the end of the day but most of the day was just kind of weird and I was pretty sad so that kind of sucks and I just feel really weird about this time of year. I finally understand all the stuff that I've seen on the internet my whole life about people like dreading the holidays and all the pressure and like having to see people and having to deal with like weird problems and until I have kids, I don't think holidays are going to be all that fun for me. At least I like my hair. I dyed my hair and I like it a lot. So that's honestly the highlight of my life right now. I think I'm going a little bit crazy. I've been in Tennessee for a month now. It's been a while. And in case you didn't know, I came here because my husband is depressed and he didn't want to be alone in our apartment in LA, which is understandable because we have no family out there. We have very little friends out there and we just moved there. So like, yeah, that's stressful. So we came here for him to try and get better and for him to work on himself. And that's like a really hard thing to do. Like, especially when you're depressed, it's like the last thing you wanna do. So there haven't really been many improvements, which is like not me being mad at him at all, but it is frustrating because I'm here and I wanna live in my own apartment. Like I wanna be alone, I wanna be an adult. I wanna not live under someone else's roof, you know? But at the same time, if I go back to LA, I live with roommates and like it's a similar situation. It's obviously different, but like you're still living with people. You're still not alone. It just, ugh, I'm just so frustrated. I'm literally just thinking out loud. Like I'm not thinking about anything before I say it because I'm just so frustrated with life. Like I feel so weird. I feel so uncomfortable and I hate this lighting. I feel so in between and so uncertain and I want Emin to be happy and I want us to be in our new apartment already, but we're not in our new apartment because we don't have it yet until January. Oh, it's just really frustrating. Ah! I just want to have a house that's decorated with my stuff and a bed that's mine and I don't wanna have roommates and I don't wanna have anybody else living in my house except my husband. And I sound really mean right now and I sound like I hate everybody and I don't, I'm just frustrated. I just want things to be different and I wanted my life to be different at this point in my life. As a married 21 year old, I would have wanted to have a little bit more of a stable situation and I don't, and I can't blame anybody. Like, I don't want anybody in my comments being like, oh, then just, your husband is horrible and you're going because your husband's depressed and he sucks. No, I'm literally just rambling. <laughs> I'm literally just rambling because I don't even know what the hell's going on. I don't know what this video is about and I don't know why I'm filming this. And I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk. Hey, how are you doing today? Hi, can I just get a six piece nugget meal, medium? And can I get that with a Coke, please? Uh, what sauce would you like? Uh, barbecue? Your show those 501 at the first window. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a trouble maker. You're a trouble maker. Guys, I went to the drive thru and all the workers were like, Her hair color is fire. Oh, she's pretty. And then I smiled. And they're like, I think she heard me. <laughs> that made me feel good about myself. Sometimes I wonder if strangers think I'm pretty. Like, you know those girls who you see them and you're like, yeah, that's a hot girl. Like, that's a pretty girl. I'm sure that strangers see them and are like, damn, you know? Sometimes I wonder, like, what do people think of me? Also, when I was about to go into the drive-thru, you know how McDonald's has like two lanes? I don't know if you know this, but like there's one drive-thru lane and another drive-thru lane. So you can like wait in the back and see which one's gonna go first. And then you can go like if there's cars in front of you. So there are two cars, there's a car in each of them. So okay, I'm just gonna wait in the back until one of them goes. And then this old hoe was driving behind me. She pulls up and she goes around me and goes to the outside one, like the one that I wasn't really blocking. And I was like, woman, clearly I'm waiting 
to see which one is gonna go first. So like, you need to just not go around me. Like, that's rude. I don't think anyone understands the absolute chokehold that McDonald's has on me. Like, I go here every other day and I'm not ashamed of it. Anybody who says, oh my God, I could never have McDonald's. I can't remember the last time I had McDonald's. Girl, shut up. It's delicious and you know it. Hi guys. I went to the park. It's been a weird day. You guys saw that it started out as a weird day. So Edmund and I were out for a little bit and then he went home and now I'm just here alone. And I don't think I talk a lot about being the partner of somebody who has depression. Nobody really talks about it, but like a big reason why I guess I feel the way I do in life right now is because of that. And like you feel horrible for it. Like you feel super, super guilty because your partner's depressed and you're sad and you feel bummed all the time. And then you feel twice as bummed because you feel bummed because they're depressed and like it's not their fault. You know what I mean? So like you feel sad for them, but then you also kind of feel mad at them. And like I've told Emin about this, this isn't like a secret or something, but like you feel mad at them for like, you know, throwing their life away, being sad all the time and bringing you down. And like, those are like the negative thoughts that come into your mind. Like you can't help it. Like at first it's kind of like, oh, you're depressed. Like that's so sad, let me help you. And then after a while, you just get mad and it's horrible. Like it's the worst feeling ever to feel upset with your partner and then also feel mad at yourself for feeling that way. Nobody talks about that. Like it's so hard to be married to someone who has depression because you're just on your own and you can't do anything about it. Especially when you're like me and you don't like uncomfortable emotions. You don't like sadness. You don't like sitting in bad feelings. But like when your husband is depressed, all you can do is sit in bad feelings unless you like leave and go by yourself. So like that's also why I've been trying to like be by myself a lot recently because when I'm around him all the time, I get sad. And like, I don't want him to feel bad for that. I never want him to feel bad for being depressed because he can't control that, you know? It's this horrible, awful thing that you can't control and you feel guilty for and you feel mad and you feel sad all the time and it sucks. So sorry this vlog wasn't like some crazy vlog or anything fun or exciting. I was just bummed, okay? But that's just how my life is right now because stuff is hard and it's not easy. And sometimes I put pressure on myself and I'm like, oh, I need to make vlogs that are fun or interesting or not sad or whatever. But like, you know what? I'm just showing you guys my life and this is my life. So today was not good. So I'm at a park all by myself waiting for all these people to leave because there's so many people here. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.